Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in once again to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination, your site for learning classic rock songs on the Mando. Today we're going way back to the 1980s once again, and one of my favorite bands, U2, and one of my favorite songs from U2, it's called Sunday Bloody Sunday. My name is Mike DeJong, and today I'm going to show you all of the bits, all of the pieces, all of the parts for this classic U2 song that's normally played on guitar, but once again, works really nicely for this little eight-stringed instrument. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so by hitting that little red button down in the lower right corner of your screen. Once again, it really helps us to continue to produce these rock and pop mandolin videos for you. This channel has done really well over the first couple of months. We picked up a lot of subscribers, but if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please leave a like at the bottom of the screen if you like this video as well. So now, without further ado, let's look at Sunday Bloody Sunday by U2 for mandolin. And we've zoomed in for you to Sunday Bloody Sunday, a really fun song to play on the mandolin. One thing I'll point out though before we get going on this is the original track is tuned down a half step. You two like to tune to uh, E flat in the early days. So this song is actually in the key of D flat. Now I'm not going to tune down the mandolin here, I'm going to play it in standard tuning. So I'll move everything up a little bit from the, uh, the original version of the song. I'll play it here in D for you. That means, though, that if you're going to learn the song and jam, try to jam along with the original track, you won't be able to do that. You will have to tune down your mandolin a half step to match uh, U2's tuning on the War album. Um, however, there are some tracks on YouTube in standard tuning for this song. Just, you know, type in a Sunday Bloody Sunday standard tuning and you'll find it. So let's look at it, starting with the opening riff. It goes like this. very cool little riff and what are we doing there well we're we're working off as i said in the key of d so the, all of these notes will work nicely with your uh, key of d or d chord um, start off with this first note here which is a b right this is on the g string fourth fret and you're going to go up to the d string and catch the f sharp which is fourth fret of the d string and you're going to try to keep all of these notes ringing out while you're playing them. Let them ring out over each other and it'll really give you a nice full sound. So something like this. So I'm just keeping my finger here locked on that B for the moment and then hitting that D open and then the F sharp and then the D open again. So B, D, F sharp, D, B, right? And then you just shift your position down on the G string to the second fret, which is an A note here, and, and play a similar pattern on the second string, on the, uh, the D string. So you're going... So that's just A, D, F sharp, D, A. So B, A. And then you drop down to the open G. Right, so you're going G, D, E, D, G. And the very last little part of the pattern, he, he moves the riff around just a little bit. He, he pauses slightly, he goes. On the guitar, he does something a little bit different. I'm simplifying it here for the mando because we don't have any lower strings to work with, but this part works really nicely, just go. the opening riff for Sunday Bloody Sunday. From there, he hits this little chord pattern, which is a D to an E minor chord, so... So he goes into the uh, verse pattern, 
the verse chords, at least the first part of the verse. The second part of the verse is a little different, and I'll show you that in a second. The first part of the verse after the... He goes to an, a B minor chord here. All right, and he gives it that nice strumming. And the edge was really great at doing that sort of... Uh, that strumming with the, uh, the muted strings like that. That was one of his signatures in the early days of U2 and really made his parts stand out. So he's doing that here. He's going to the B minor chord. Then he's going to a D chord to a G chord. Right, don't forget to give it that little after you play the chord. So B, B minor. D, G. And I think these voicings of those chords work best on the mandolin. Yeah, you could play the B minor in a different uh, position. You could play the D open and the G open. But I like to uh, sort of chop these chords in this song. Keep it very staccato so you can get that edge-like staccato string uh, well, the string chopping is, for lack of a better term. Um, so try to play the B minor here on the fourth fret of the G string, fourth fret of the D string, and fifth fret of the A string, right? You can even add this little note up here, if you like, with your pinky. It's not necessary. You can just play it like uh, with the three strings, right? P try to get that rhythm. It's really, it's, it's not easy. And you know, a lot of people uh, criticize the edge for not being the, a shredder of a guitar player, not playing wild solos. But I think he was a really wonderful rhythm guitar player, still is actually. And he doesn't, maybe he doesn't get enough credit for that, but he's brilliant at these, these rhythms, polyrhythms, I call them. So you got a B minor chord there. Then move down to the D here, the, this voicing, which is from the, second fret of the G string, fourth fret of the D string, and fifth fret of the A string, right? So that's a G. And then I grab this G voicing here, which is maybe not the common G voicing that you're gonna play, like an open G here, or even this kind of G. Um, it's kind of a rock and roll G, as a friend of mine calls it. All closed strings. So again, you can get a really tight uh, pattern here on your strumming. Right, so it's at the, the fourth fret, which is the B note. Then you got the fifth fret on the D string and fifth fret on the A string, right? So once again, that pattern is B minor, D to G. B minor, D, G. Now the edge only does that for the first half of the verses. And then he throws in a little bit of a curveball. He goes back to that opening riff in the second part of the verses. Really cool. So coming off of that, he does that twice. Then he does... Right? He finishes off the verses with that. Then when we go into the chorus, there's a really cool part in the chorus that you can play on the mandolin. The edge does it on the guitar with all harmonics, right? It's the part where they go, Sunday, bloody Sunday, whatever, uh, something like that. Um, and you can do it on the mandolin using a combination of harmonics and notes. It goes... Isn't that cool? I do it at the 12th fret of these two strings, giving you just a harmonic. If you're new to the mandolin or the guitar, you don't know what a harmonic is. It's when you just very slightly or lightly touch the string. You don't press the string down. You just touch it and pull off your hand if you like. And it gives you that nice bell sound, right? So there, I've got a harmonic there, 12th fret of the G string, 12th fret of the D string, all right? so. And then I go from the first one to the second one just once up to that G note there, right there, third fret of the E string. 
All right, so. And then F sharp to D. Sorry, a little bit out of tune on that D there, but I'll show you this part one more time. Right? Really cool little part to play over the chorus in this song. The final thing for this song is the guitar solo, which is also very nicely done on the mandolin. It goes something like this. So what is the edge doing? Well, he's doing a nice little sort of scale pattern there, a descending scale pattern, but he's employing sort of double stops there, which he can do nicely on the mandolin as well. On the guitar, he uh, the edge uses the open E string. Well, we got two open E strings on the mandolin. Ha! So let's use them right here for a little droning double stop pattern on the beginning of the solo. So what is it? Well, it's... Right, that's the E note here, seventh fret of the A string, down to the D note, which is the fifth fret of the A string. And again, try to try to ring out that E. And do the same thing down here. That's second fret, B to the open A. Okay, so that's the beginning part of the guitar solo played on the A string. Then from there... Alright, so that's a little descending pattern from the A note. Right, you can play it on the A open, or you can play it here, this A, which is 7th fret of the D string. So let's go from there. Actually, you can drone that A string too and make a nice little double stop. Right, just that pattern right down there. Keep that A string droning, and that gives you another nice little sound. So A note down to the G. Just follow this pattern down from seven to five to four to open, all right? And then he jumps down to the G string, or on the mandolin we jump down to the G string. You hit this note here which is a D flat or a C sharp, right? And he does a little sort of a trill or a little hammer on part there. And then going back up, he skips that note and he just goes from the B back to the D. All right, so what is that? That's a B. And then the D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. So that's a D. Make sure you hit those two strings together, or those four strings together. Right? Give you that ending double stop. One more time the solo. Sunday Bloody Sunday by U2 for Mandolin. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I hope you get a lot out of it. It's a lot of fun to play those little licks on the Mando. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, once again, please do so by hitting that little red button down in the lower right portion of your screen. It really helps me to continue producing videos like this one in the future. Thanks once again for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin.